Hi everybody. After a great tour down under which kicked off 2024 World Tour Racing, Sunday January the 28th we're being served the 8th edition of the Cuddle Evans Great Ocean Road Race, a fairly new addition to the World Tour calendar. The course runs over 176k with nearly 1600 meters of elevation gain. Key to the race are the final 68k, comprising 4 laps of the local circuit around Geelong. Each lap featuring the climb of Galambra, Crescent, which is steep, yet at only 900 meters it's a short effort and there's always fast guys surviving here. Here's an overview of the winners of the first seven editions of this race, in which Quickstep has historically been doing well, with wins for Gianni Meersman in 2015, Elia Viviani in 2019 and Dries Devenhans in 2020. They won't be lining up at this year's edition though, which also goes for some other notable teams. It wasn't ran in 21 and 22, and last year's edition was won by Marius Meyerhofer, ahead of Hugo Page and Simon Clark. Jay McCarthy has been the only Australian winner here. Typically, you do get separation on the local laps and 25 to 30 guys sprint for the win. This group tends to be made up of punchy guys, yet there's always some versatile sprinters surviving as well. Here's an overview of the former podia, as well as some of the riders lining up with previous experience in this race, including one former winner, Elia Viviani. Other notable mentions are Ewan, Clark and Strong, who made it into the top 10 on prior editions. Betting odds were not yet available at the time of recording, yet here's the riders to watch in my book, mainly based on what we've seen in the Tour Down Under. Starting with Sean Flynn at DSM, who seems to have the correct rider profile to do well here. After his performance on the Tour Down Under, also Oscar only needs to be mentioned, in my opinion he needs to get separation over the top of the last Calambre climb, to have a shot at victory. Jonathan Arvais at the Grenadiers has been sprinting with the best on the Tour Down Under and has the perfect mix of explosiveness on Calambre Crescent and the fast legs to finish it off. Viviani has done well here in the past, yet his Tour Down Under did not convince me that he will actually make the cut. At Intermarché all eyes must be on Binyam Girmay. He's clearly coming into this season on good form, yet he ran into Wellsford at the Tour Down Under. At Israel Premier Tech, Simon Clark came in third here last year, also after a mediocre Tour Down Under, so he can't be ruled out. The real man to watch on there and is Corbin Strong though, note that he left the Tour Down Under with stomach issues, yet he still appears on the start list here. But his preparation won't have been 100%. Stephen Williams, who just comes off a Tour Down Under GC win, doesn't have the kick to win this one, in my book. At Groupama, I expect Pithy to be one of the fast guys to survive, and when he does, he'll be in the mix. He sprinted to 4th and 5th respectively on stage 3 and 4 of the Tour Down Under, while also coming 5th on the Mount Lofty stage. Max Kantra at Astana is also amongst the fast men who should survive to sprint for victory. He rode into the top 10 of the four opening stages of the Tour Down Under. Caleb Ewan then had some issues dealing with the heat in the run-up to the Tour Down Under, yet he somehow held his ground, without managing to make a proper fist though. Then, as he did on the Australian Nationals and on stage 2 of the Tour Down Under, Plapp may well try to go solo. Note that he dropped out of the Tour Down Under though, following a crash, so also his run-up is far from ideal. Finally at Trek, Quinn Simmons or Tess Fasion are prone to go on to an adventure, and every once in a while they stick. And when it doesn't, Vacek may remain in the bunch to sprint. At EF, Arkea and Kofidis, nobody managed to convince me during the Tour Down Under, so I'm not going to pick McLeay or Frette. Girmay and Arvaez are my 4 star favorites. Strong and Kanter get 3 stars. Clark and Ewan get 2 stars. Pithy, Simmons, Only and Plapp each get 1 star. And in terms of podium prediction for the 2024 edition of the Kettle Evans Great Ocean Road Race, I'm going with a win by Girmay ahead of Narvaez and Strong. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and see you next time.